Talk, episode eight, take one. <laughs> <I'm sweating. laughs> Welcome to Can We Talk, take two. Oh, Derek, I saw you. All right, come on. Is my eyebrow higher than the other? Come nope, on. it looks fine. You know, my dad had that high eyebrow. That thing just sticks up. Can you wipe it down more? No. Nope. You're not being very nice right now. I'm not doing another take. Nothing. You're not? Nope. All right. Come on. Could you please do the take? Could you please? I, I, I can't move until you hit take. Take three! Oh, you have to say episode eight. Oh, take can three. we talk episode eight? Wait, wait, eight. Until I stop talking. Ah, wait, pause for a minute. <sighs> okay, go Can ahead. we talk episode eight, take three? Three. Episode eight, take four. Could you do it not like that, but like in the camera, like boom, three. Uh, one more time. No. Just starting one more time. No. Could you do it, please? No. Wow. Could one more time. No. That's how I function. No. You told me you'll never tell me no. I did tell you that, but well, come on. I took it back. You kidding? I'm not doing it again, honey. This is retarded. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most retarded thing I've ever seen. All right, come on. All right, here we go. What's <laughs> <laughs> wrong <with> you? <laughs> you get the giggles, you can't stop. Yeah, you got the giggles. You already call me giggles in the Marine Corps. Oh, for Pete's sake. I'll tell you the story for about For crying out okay, loud. Okay. Welcome to Can We Talk. I'm Derek. And I'm Sonia. Thank Welcome to Can We Talk. I'm Derek. And I'm Sonia. Thank you for watching. Today's episode is actually being recorded in our master bathroom because the title is related to where we are in the bathroom. So it's entitled For Better and For Worse. So can we talk? For better, for worse. You heard better the vows. And for worse. For better and for worse. But when you took the vows, you heard the vows for better. Or, or worse, worse, mm -hmm. and and we're we're lo we're looking at that a little bit deeper because you think about the vows and you said to yourself before you got married, for better. What is better? Better is a better life, mm -hmm. better relationship. I found someone who's going to compliment me, mm -hmm. and and we're going to just live happily ever after. We're kids gonna, and the kids dog and the, and dog the, and the house fence. and the jobs, and we're going to do this mm -hmm. thing. Team go, team go. Mm -hmm. But very few people have a conversation about, well, what is the worst? Mm -hmm. Did you have that conversation? Like, what is the worst? Like, before you got married, did you say, okay, the worst is going to be, okay, unemployment, bankruptcy, foreclosure, loss of job, somebody's going to get sick, somebody's going to cheat on me, infidelity, what is the worst? No one really has that conversation because you don't think about what the worst is. You have your criteria, you draw your line and you mm -hmm. in the sand, you have your non-negotiables. But even with that, you don't never really think about the worst. No one gets married expecting the worst. Or I don't think we would get married. Um, mm -hmm. But some people know that they are marrying someone that's flawed and they may expect that they may get their, hurt, their feelings hurt. But the worst of the worst, most people don't think about. We didn't think that um, after having our first child together that I would have uh, stage four endometriosis and the doctor would tell mm -hmm. my husband while i'm still under anesthesia that i need a hysterectomy uh, I, if that had happened our last two kids wouldn't have been here that's a miracle but you know in our our, our book unlocking the mysteries of marriage we have a chapter entitled for better and for worse it's chapter eight and if you want to hear more details of our story and the things that we went through 
the first 16 years of our 22 years of marriage, you can get that book on our website, um, marriagemenders.org. But the reason that we wrote that chapter and the reason that we're doing this segment is because we realize that a lot of people think that they're the only one that are experiencing the worst of the worst. Mm -hmm. And we know what that feels like. Um, but a lot of times people show up and um, they, they look good. They play the part. And then they think everybody else is doing good because everybody else is playing the part. Right. And we didn't really play the part like that. We really showed our colors like really like right. transparent. But right. um, that doesn't mean that was a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> People were in our business. <laughs> if Derek and I were beefing, you knew it. You knew about That's the beef. crazy. I, I mean, because <laughs> this dude right here, all it is like would be like that. rough. Come on, all that. <laughs> The worst. Oh gosh. The worst. And we wouldn't the be worst. touching. There would be no no physical <laughs> touch. There would be nothing, you know. And uh, we were, we would be going through our worst. And you know, some couples fake it. We just we just didn't know how. Sonia mentioned one one worst that we had was the endometriosis that Sonia had. Another worst. We never thought about that. My pornography issue was oh. was almost destroyed our marriage the worst that thing almost took us out because that, that i, I was just out. like porn all of this it yeah <laughs> it had nothing to do with that that's another segment by the way so why we're in the bathroom we're in the bathroom because through the years of experiencing our worst you know the pornography and endometriosis and death of my sister and death of derek's dad mm -hmm. and having to uh, lose our first home and just one thing after another that we some things we could could control and some things we could not control one thing that was a staple for us was that we decided later in our marriage that we would take bubble baths together talk about the worst and then when we got out we would let our problems go down the drain with the water and uh this this setting symbolizes the worst mm -hmm. because um now we take bubble baths whether there's stuff going on or not right. but definitely when there's trials going on we will get in if i'm walking by and i hear the tub running i know derek is telling me it's time to get in the tub so that we could talk it out and um allow our problems to go down the drain and we would get out we would feel better we would feel more relaxed and then we would just sit here and watch the water go down the drain. It's, so that's why we decided yeah. to do this segment. And it, sa it sounds kind of corny for some. You're saying, "Well, that's kind of that's kind of corny." <laughs> I thought it was corny at first. I'm like, well, "Why we gotta do all that?" And once I realized that the water symbolizing us a, a lot, it, it, it's it's soothing. Uh, the nakedness symbolizes a lot. The cleansing the of cleansing, the water. The cleansing, mm -hmm. the the aroma, the senses. You know. You can't really beef in the bathtub. I mean, you really, you, <laughs> That's you, true. you, you can be mad and, you, and your lip poked out and, and I don't want to talk to you, I don't want to get in the tub. But why, try, try that and, and see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we do. We're not saying you have to do what we do, but we, we're talking about the worst and ways to deal with the worst. Mm -hmm. we're, in, we're in a season right now that it's not really the worst. But it's, it's a tough season as we speak. Yeah. We didn't know if we were going to do the vlog because of the season that we're in at this very moment. Mm -hmm. And it's not the worst, but it would break most couples. Mm -hmm. This right now would break most couples. We're mm -hmm. not going to share that with you right now because we're in it, but you know, we ain't got problems sharing it later. Yeah, yeah. But just, but just it's our family is being attacked. So, and so, we know when we do ministry that our family is yeah. going to be attacked. So, that's, so you have to understand the worst when it comes. Mm -hmm. You have to be prepared for it and you have to do something about it mm -hmm. and not and, and the answer is not quitting the answer because it's a vow so for better and for worse for better or for worse however you want to look at it it's a vow you made a vow and the reason we changed the title from for better or for worse to for better and for worse is because or suggests it may or may not happen and suggests that you're going to get some good some better days and you're gonna get some worse days. Right. And that means that you should expect it. So when we do counseling with couples that are, pre-marriage counseling with couples that are contemplating marriage, we let them know what to look for because your marriage is going to be a spiritual entity. Anything God ordains, Satan hates. So if he hates that you're getting married, then the heat is gonna be on when you get married more than it would be when you were dating, when you were courting, and when you were engaged. 
Right. So for better and for worse, just do something about it. We, we are, if we can get closer to the camera and just do something about the worst. Don't leave, don't quit. We said it in our last vlog, you know, the divorce hits not just you, but your legacy, your children. So find a way to talk about the worst before it comes. Uh, if you can, some things you can plan. Death, you can't really plan. It hits, it hits. It's how you cope, how you talk about it, how you deal with it, and, and, and really have a, a conversation about, okay, what is the worst? And if you're in the worst, if you're in the worst right now, do something to deal with the words as opposed to separating, and, not talking. And know that it's a season. You know, mm -hmm. don't let yourself, I think T.D. Jakes called it compassionate emotional exhaustion because you, you get so tired of the season that you're in that you want to quit because you don't think that season will end. Right. But at the end of the day, you're almost at the end mm -hmm. and you quit before you get there. Right. And That's so don't let your emotions deceive you to right. believe that this is going to be forever. Could you imagine if we would have quit right. when we're in that hotel for five months mm. and we quit at month number three, mm. we wouldn't be here now. Right. Could you imagine mm -hmm. if we quit and, and the doctor says, well, terminate the pregnancy. Take your uterus out and, and get a hysterectomy. And we would have done that. Our son wouldn't be here. Mm. Or I mean, our could, daughter. Yeah, both kids. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine if we stopped and quit in, in all the things that we've gone through, oh, the worst, uh -huh. the outcome would have been different. We yeah. wouldn't be sitting here. Yeah, and it's easy to quit because you, you're, 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 your heart tells you you're exhausted. You can't do this you anymore. Can't quit, man. So many couples, so, so many wives, I'm done, I'm tired, I can't do this anymore. And that is when you're gonna actually get to the end the 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 story of the life of pi that td jakes references the boy was literally on shallow water and he had already survived thunderstorms and hmm. sharks and tigers in feet of water that he would have drowned in and shallow water was when he almost gave up mm -hmm. because he was emotionally exhausted so don't let that be you because you're at shallow water. At some point, you're going to be at shallow water and you're going to think you're still in, in, in high drowning water and you really aren't because you're tired. And, and the, the, the worst thing that you can possibly do when you're in the worst, you decide to find something or someone else to make you feel better mm. and it's a counterfeit. Mm. You decide to say, okay, I'm going to let him do him and I'm going to do me and I'm gonna go get my book over there, and I'm gonna get my bae over there, and we're gonna do our things separately, uh -uh. and I'm feeling good because they give me all the things that make me feel good, they pleasing me, they taking care of me like I should be taken care of, uh -huh. and it's a counterfeit because that doesn't last. Uh -huh. And the only and it's, it's gonna impact your children. If you think, if you think that you are doing what you do because you're, you're, the worst has hit you, Take a moment to think about your children. Uh -huh. Think about the 10-year-old that you have, the three-year-old that you have, the 15-year-old. Do you really believe that by you coping that way that they're not going to be impacted spiritually? Uh -huh. I'm just, we're just saying we've seen it. We, we, we understand it. Yeah. Um, we're not trying to, to scare you. We just want you to pause and think about the worst uh -huh. and the decisions that you make based on the worst. Think about how it's impacting not just you, but your children. Yeah. So for better and for worse, take a moment to say, okay, Lord, do the Job thing. Yeah. He had the worst. And what did he do? He just sat there and talked to God. He, he sat there and he said, okay. Even when his friends I'm came not with their unsolicited advice. Right, his, his boys, they came and said, okay. But I, so we can talk a lot about it because we're running out of time. But I, we think you got the point. We're passionate, we're passionate about uh -huh. the vows that you make. And we're passionate about making a decision that's not going to impact your legacy. We said it before. We'll say it again when you're in the worst. Yeah. But understand something. You made the vow. Right. You made the vow. And, so. and, and I, I know that oftentimes you don't even remember saying the vows because so much is going on. You've got people there and, you know, it's exciting and friends and family. And, you know, you've already rehearsed how it's going to go. And you say the vows and it may be like rhetoric. But at the end of the day, those vows are what is going to hold you and keep you 
which is the whole point of doing those vows, but they're not to each other. They're to God about the other. Right. Fight for your marriage. Don't give up. Don't quit. Do something differently. You know, you don't have to come and see us. You can go see someone else. It don't matter who you see. Yeah. Get some help and sit down in front of someone to say, okay, let me help you with this process. Let, let us dig deeper mm -hmm. into the core and talk about why. Why is this the worst right now? What happened here? Is right. it, was it preventable or unpreventable? How do you cope when it was preventable? Mm -hmm. How do you cope when it was unpreventable? What are you going to do? What is your action plan okay. to survive right. the worst? We're we giving you our therapy session. Y'all have to pay for all that stuff she gave you. <laughs> you can pay for all that. You ain't paying for it's this. Free. It's, no, it's, that it's was free. free. But Somebody she was going in that realm. Somebody heard that. Right, well, Somebody we, heard we're gonna, that. We're going to start right it's now. They're going to need that. They're going to need it, but then you're going to... And then let me just say gonna, this last thing. You're going to learn today. Let me, shut up. Let me just say this last thing. <laughs> Stupid. Some of you know good and well that you were marrying a hot mess person. Mm. And you married them anyway. Mm. And then you're gonna break off someone's ear listening Come on now. to the woe is me's. We may not get any views Now y'all need one. to stop that. Y'all need to they, take some responsibility and say, I knew there. she was crazy. Mm. I knew he was jacked up. Y'all need to say that. Now some of y'all didn't know, but the ones that did, y'all really need to stop that because that's a pet peeve of mine. Just, you, no one put a gun to your head. You knew that he was jacked up, but all you right. wanted your wedding. I'm just saying. All right, okay, you all right? I'm good. You're good. I just had to get that we out. May, we may lose like a hundred viewers <laughs> at this point, but then we'll gain a hundred more. It's in love though, because you love, know we're going, Iyala said, we call a thing a thing. We call a thing a thing. We, we're That's what she thing. said, this is my girl. Iyala, watch this. You know I'm gonna meet you one day, girl. <laughs> she said, call a thing a she thing. She says, call a thing a and thing. And we're calling a thing a thing. We love, we love. Yes, you. call it a thing. We we, we want to keep it real. Yes. Right. This is not something that we're just just chit-chatting and feeling right. good. Right, So we're going right. to end, we got to end. We got to end Yeah, so time. some of your so worst was unpreventable. That's all I was saying. That okay. I was just saying. The same so thing. look, thank you for <laughs> watching again. <laughs> please subscribe to the channel share yes. it with someone else yes send it out there so someone can understand that hey keep it real yes stop faking mm -hmm. and, and and say look let me let me just get some help yeah and that's our passion so thank you for watching you're gonna get through your worst don't give up your breakthrough is almost there mm -hmm. and until next time take good care of yourself take good care bye, bye.